가면? 뭐야? One person watching, usually there's three people around. Hi guys, thank you for joining. Um, we're just waiting for more people to log on, waiting for more people to join us. Natalie says hi, Nikki. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Michael. Roper says they're ready. Wonderful. We're just waiting for a few more people to come on. We know there's a few that are just a few minutes late. I hope you've all got your bags. Have you all got um, yeah. a toilet roll? Well, a toilet roll holder. Because that's some of the bags had them and some of the bags didn't. And the ones that didn't... Um, I did ask the grown-ups if they could supply them. We had a bit of an incident. We saved some and then we got thrown away. So as long as you've got one of them. It's been quite a delay, isn't it? I'm just seeing how many are on. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. We're just waiting for everyone who had a bag to come on, that's all. Can you see who's on? I don't think so. Just while we're waiting for other people to come on, remember, we don't want best clothes for the children for this because if you've looked in your bag, you can see there's paint. Um, Grown-ups, in the bag, you'll see there's some tissues. It perhaps would be handy. I've got a wet cloth. It's just a normal dishcloth. If you could perhaps either dampen one of the tissues or provide the child with a wet cloth. It's just, some children are fine with having paint on their hands and it's dry, but others aren't. They might not like that feeling of the paint. So if they've got a, just a wet cloth that they can just give it a rub with um, after we've done the painting bit, that might be better for them. Make sure you haven't got um make sure you're not in your best parlour, in the best room where paint can go on the floor. You shouldn't do, because there's a paintbrush in your bag, it's all very contained. It's not like we're gonna be splashing and how many have we got on? We've got 18. Yeah. Um Kyle Shepherd says hi Nikki. Hi Kyle. Carly Old Akit says Bala Rose is ready. Wonderful. Hi, Bala Rose. Louise Shepherd, Millie and Reese are here. Hi, Millie. Hi, Reese. Connor Shepherd says hi, Nikki. Hi, Connor. Christine Stubb says you're a star, Nick. Are you with us again, Chris? Hi, Chris. Sandra Burgess says hi, Nikki. Hi, Sandra. Is Justin ready? And um, Chloe Skittles says hi, Nikki. Hi, Chloe. Right. So I think, what time is it now? About five past? Yeah, just coming up to. I think we'll start going through the bags. We'll see what's in them and see what we're going to do. Because there's two activities today. Um, one of them we're making an Easter chick. And that's where the paint comes in. And the other one we're making a bunny. Um, and that's not very messy. So we'll go through the bags. So if you've got your bags in the bags... You had two plastic wallets, one with a big yellow egg and one with um, spotty paper, okay? You also, you okay? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Annabelle and Brianna. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, Brianna. And Dutiana. Yeah. The uh, kids are excited. Wonderful. It was lovely to meet you as well. Um, the toilet roll will go with the spotty pack. You'll also have three pots in your bag. 
a yellow one, which is paint, an orange one, which is paint, and a white one, which is glue. Okay, so we need to start from the very beginning with health and safety. Please do not eat any of these. Do not put any in your eyes because firstly, it won't taste very nice. And secondly, it might hurt you. So we're not gonna eat the paint or the glue and we're not gonna stick it in our eyes or our brothers and sisters eyes either. So health and safety done. And then the last thing you'll have is a paintbrush. You can see mine's an orange one with a small head. You all had different shapes and sizes of paintbrushes. Um, so that one was mine. So firstly, we will do the one that needs painting. So it's got a chance to dry. So that's this one with the big yellow egg and all the bits in it. So for that one, you need your three pots, your paintbrush and your pack. So for now, we'll just put the spotty one to one side with the toilet roll. Inside your plastic wallet, we get everything out. You've got a big yellow egg, about as big as my face. You have two of these that look a bit like hands. You will also have two of these, two white pieces of card. They will be feet. And I can't get in. You'll have two eyes. And a orange triangle, which will be a beak. Okay. So them are the things we need first. Now, you might need a grown-up for this, but we need to get into your paint pots, okay? And your glue pot. So you can either undo all the sellotape or grown-ups, maybe you want to get some scissors and open the top up. We had to seal them, one, so it didn't make a mess, and two, so it didn't dry up. So I'm just gonna get some scissors. I'm gonna open mine with scissors. Okay, so this is a grown-up's job. Um, just get into them pots. Once you've got through the top, they just fold down. Don't worry about ripping it off. Just as long as we can get into them. Remember, children, these aren't drinks. We can't drink them. We don't want to make a big mess. Just a little mess. Just a little mess. Little messes are okay. You told them where you're crafting from today. Yeah, where you're crafting. I haven't. So, I've got three pots all open. Orange, yellow and white, which is blue. Okay. I'll just give you a minute because grown-ups have probably just gone to find scissors and get it all cut open and stuff. Right, so this is going to be our body for our chick. It's going to be the full body. So what you need is, can you see it's got a fat end and a thin end? We're going to have it with the thin end at the top. Okay, so our eyes are going to be near the top. So if I show you the thin end, our eyes are going to be this end. You see? So the first thing you need to do is with your brush, get the white pot. Okay, because this is glue. And pop your brush in that pot. You see? 
you've got some glue. Now one of your eyes, like that, with the black at the bottom, we are going to pop on your egg, somewhere near the top. But it doesn't matter where, it's not wrong, even if your eyes are a bit like this. I know a few people with eyes like that. So doesn't matter. We're going to stick your two eyes on the top like that. Or wherever you want to stick them. So we get our paintbrush. You can either put some paint on the back of the eye or you can put it onto your yellow egg. It's up to you. I'm going to put a splodge on my yellow egg. You see? Nice big splodge of glue. And stick my eye on. And we'll do exactly the same for the second one. Some more glue. Pop it onto your egg. And oh pop your eye on. Does yours look like that? Two eyes? Push them down. Now if you can see some glue out the side like you can mine, it doesn't matter because that's going to dry and it's going to dry clear. So it doesn't matter. Who's got sticky fingers? I have. So that's the first thing. Two eyes. But what else does a chick need? Needs a beak. Okay. So on mine, I can still see bits of pencil from where we cut it out. So if you can see a bit of pencil on yours, that's the side we're going to put the glue on. We don't want to see the pencil, do we? So we're going to get our paintbrush again with some glue on it. And we're going to pop some onto the beak. It doesn't have to be covered, but if you want to cover it, you can. And then the beak is going to go pointy down. Okay? Like that. Looks a bit funny if you do it like that, but it doesn't matter if you do. I'm going to do mine like that. You see? So now we have two eyes and a beak. Isn't that looking fantastic? Does yours look like that? I bet yours looks better than mine actually. So there, that's where we're at. Now comes the messy bit. Now comes the bit with the paint. Okay. You know how we said these look a bit like hands? That's because we want you to paint your hand and to pop your hand on there. We want your hand print on there. So it does look a bit like hand for a reason. What you've got to do is look at your hand prints. And can you see this bit here looks a bit like a thumb? So if you are going to paint your right hand, Make sure it looks like that, okay? So it goes on. So have a look now. Pick one of your hands up and look which way it, it looks best. Because if I turn it round, it doesn't kind of fit that way, does it? But that way, I can get my thumb on there. And my hand's a bit big for this, but we know you've got smaller hands, okay? So... Pop your hand when it's the right way onto your surface. And then we're going to get our paint. Oh, hang on, let me think, actually. I'm going to change that. I am going to change that. We're going to do these first. And there's a reason I've done that. If we do these, because these are orange. These are going to be the orange ones. If we do these, are these, I'm, I'm messing this up, hang on a minute guys. Dwayne, are these orange or are these yellow? Um, the picture's behind you. Oh, I'm not changing it, these were yellow. Let me tell you what I was thinking. We need to use the yellow paint first. Because we've only got one brush, we need to use the yellow paint first because if we put the orange, 
orange brush into the yellow paint it'll all go a bit mucky so yes we're back to the hand i'm so sorry guys i'm not very organized today am i so this is going to be yellow we've we've measured we know that this is the right way paint brush it doesn't matter that it's got glue on it doesn't matter at all this is why we can use one paint brush and we're going to get the yellow pot yeah so you're going to hold your paintbrush in one hand, you're going to dip it in to the yellow paint and this is going to tickle. You're going to paint all of your hand. Oh, that feels funny. Does that feel funny guys? Does it tickle? And you're going to dip it in again. And you're going to paint some more. I want all of your fingers covered. All of the middle hand, the bit of the middle covered. And your thumb. Just keep dipping it in and painting it on. Until you've got a really mucky yellow hand. Ugh. Does yours look like mine? Just keep painting till all your hands yellow like mine. And then you're going to put your hand onto your piece of card. Okay? And push it down really hard. Push, 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 push. Oh, stuck. And that's then. Can you see? That's your handprint. That's super awesome. How are yours going? And it doesn't matter if you wiggle your fingers. So I could put mine back on and give it a wiggle. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Okay. So, but you've got a very yellow hand, haven't you? We're going to leave that to one side just for a few minutes while we do the other one so put that to one side does yours look great i bet it does and then we're going to get the other one now the other one needs to be the other hand okay so you can either use your tissues that are in your bags wipe your hand off or if your grown-up has given you a wet cloth, give it a wipe. If you don't mind having a yellow painted hand, you don't have to wipe it at all. But if you give it a good wipe, it all comes off, look, you see? All clean. I think they look brilliant. I think you've all done a fantastic job, you know. So, are we all clean? You keep rubbing, keep getting all that bits of paint off. Doesn't matter if your hand's a bit damp or still a bit yellow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, but now we're going to do the other hand. So if you see, the thumb's paint pointing the other way. So we need to do this hand this time. Okay. And it's exactly the same again. You're going to get your paintbrush with your yellow paint. Get your hand and uh, paint it on. Uh, it's sticky and it's cold and it's wet. Can you do that? And if there's a couple of you, because I know there's a couple of brothers and sisters that are doing this, you could help each other. You could paint each other's hands, but only the hands. Not the face. Not the face. Not the chest. Not the arms. Not the hair. Just our hands. Because the Easter Bunny will know. He'll know if you've uh, been monkeys with your paint. Can you see? There you go, my hands all yellow now. Keep painting till it's all yellow. Ugh. 
and then exactly the same we're going to pop our hand on our piece of white cardboard I'm going to give mine a squidge I'm going to look at moving my fingers around but it doesn't matter you see what's that done and then we're going to leave that to dry for a little bit but again if you don't like having a mucky hand give it a clean Not going too fast, are we? Uh, we've got no comments. Wonderful. Um, they're all concentrating. Well, that's it. That's exactly what they're doing. <laughs> I hope you're all concentrating. Mums and dads are frantically cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> Stopping children from getting paint on each other. Or going like this, going scratch. Yeah. Yeah, the faces. But mums and dads, be assured, if this paint has gone on faces or tops or tables, it does come out. It is child friendly. Um, it won't hurt the children at all. We pick child friendly. And just on that note as well, I'd like to thank um, Wilco's in Longton because they donated ever such a lot of this pack to us. So a real big shout out to the Helping Hands guys at Wilco's. So, are you all clean? Have you got one yellow hand and two yellow hands? Do you want to give everybody a minute just to... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Have you got a chick with two eyes and a beak? Because if you have, you are a superstar. So, can you see how, how this might look? I don't know if you can see this behind me, but this is what we're going for. This is the type of thing that we're going for, okay? It will look like that in the end, I promise. Are we all clean? All dry? Because we've got some more painting to do now. So, here comes these two funny things. White bits of card with a bit of a, a bump on the end. What could we do with them? Well, we want these to look like feet on our chick. Okay, so... They're going to go like this. But they're a bit boring when they're a bit white, aren't they? They're a bit boring. So we're going to have to paint them. Now, we found the best way that we can paint these. Have you ever made a fist? I hope you've never punched anybody. But if you make a fist with your hand, let me see. Squeeze all them fingers in, wrap that thumb around and make a fist. You see? You can see the bumps of your knuckles, four fingers. And we think if we were to paint this side of our fist and print it onto there, it might look like a foot. It might not. But we'll have a go, shall we? So remember, all them fingers in. Make a really tight fist and we're going for that part at the front and this is going to be orange, okay? So you're going to get your paintbrush. It doesn't matter that it's got yellow paint on, okay? Once you put it in the orange paint and give it a mix, oh, the yellow paint's gone. And that's why we did yellow first, okay? So this is super tricky now. So you've got to get a really tight fist, orange paint, and we're going to paint all of our fist. Make sure you get those bumpy knuckles at the top. And this is going to be orange. You see? And it doesn't matter if you get a bit on your thumb, or a bit underneath, or a bit on top. It doesn't matter, but we want lots of lovely orange paint. How are you getting on, guys? It's a bit tricky, this is, isn't it? But I think you're doing fab. You're doing a great job. Is your knuckle all orange like mine? Oh, mine's got it on my face now. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you do it. You're going to put your other piece of card down. 
you're not going to punch the card you're just going to gently put your fist on and push it down okay just push it down so it's all orange oh stuck again and there you go can you see how it might look a bit like feet and it's all wet and it's all gooey but that is one done we're going to put that one to one side with your hands and then if you found you want more orange on your foot you could go again and put it down again and put it down again until it's covered a bit more you might like the white side if you really wanted to you could get your paintbrush and paint it it's up to you there's no right or wrong no one's going to shout at you because you can't do this wrong so that's one if you want to do the knuckles again get the paintbrush again with all the cold paint and paint it all back on your hand all on them knuckles you see orange messy hand Ugh. right up to them knuckles and there again your next piece of card and it doesn't matter which way round it is I think you've got a shiny side and a not so shiny side it doesn't matter which way I'm going to go again I'm going to put my fist down and I'm going to squish it on oh it's stuck again and if I peel it off it looks like that that looks a bit like trees actually what does yours look like but I want I don't want so much white on mine so I'm going to go again I'm going to put my hand down again and I'm going to keep going until it's all covered look at that it's a bit like trees isn't it so now we've got two orange feet but we've got a really mucky hand so once you've done the paint don't rush once you've done your feet get the cloth back out again or ask our grown-up to give our hands a bit of a bit of a tickle to get it off and it's come off really well it's come off nice and well if you've got a bit of paint on your table you could rub that off too you don't have to but we could tidy up as we go couldn't we there we go my table's all nice and clean my hands are all nice and clean and i've got all these bits to my chick so you guys keep cleaning keep washing your hands get them all nice and clean joe jones says this is the nursery teacher coming out with you Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, I've done this before. Can you see your chick? Are your eyes drying like mine are? And Auntie Sharon says you're amazing, Nikki. Hi, Auntie Sharon. <laughs> Thank you. So my eyes are nearly dry. I can still see bits of glue, but that doesn't matter because that will dry. And my beak, that's all right. It's all nice and stuck. But we've got all these bits that we've just painted. What are we going to do with them? Well, let me tell you. We're going to put one of these hands, we're going to go to the glue again in a minute, and we're going to stick one of them this side, and we're going to stick one of them this side. And it doesn't matter which one goes where. You can have that one that side, or you could have that one that side. doesn't matter. It's up to you okay so get your chick and your hands still might be a little bit wet that doesn't matter either doesn't matter so your paintbrush 
has orange paint on it. Guess what I'm going to say? That doesn't matter either. We're going to dip it in the glue and your glue might turn a bit orange. Don't matter. So, let's get some glue back on that brush. And what we're going to do is See where your beak is, we're going to come across to the edge and we're going to put a blob of glue on each side. Okay, so let me show you. Just here, nice big blob of glue, big circle. My glue's orange, is yours glue orange? Is it? It's still glue, it's just orange glue. And then I'm going to do the other side. You do yours on the table though like this, okay? I'm just holding it up here to show you. Another big blob. Do you know what this looks like? It looks like his cheeks, don't you think? It does look like cheeks. It looks like he's got cheeks. Little rosy cheeks. Little rosy cheeks. Our chick has got cheeks. Okay? So some big blobs of glue. And then you're going to get your yellow hands and push it on and it's a bit when you push them on you'll find it's a bit ooh, it's a bit slidey you just find a spot where you're happy with it and stick it on and if you're not happy with it you can move it you want to go down or do you want to go up and then push it on okay and then Get your other one and you've got your paint, your glue on your cheek, not your cheek, on your chick's cheek. You're going to get your hand and push it on. Push, push, push. Now I've done mine like that, but you might want to do yours like that or like that. It's up to you. He will still look super cute. There you go, keep pushing so they're nice and stuck. Oh, you might get a bit of paint back on your fingers, but it doesn't matter. Can you see what we've got so far now? We've got a chick that's got two eyes, a beak, he's got some wings. So what did look like handprints now looks like wings. Your chick's got wings. How's yours looking? Let me see. Hold them up so I can see. Oh, they are brilliant. They are way better than mine. Fantastic, guys. Brilliant. So, pop them back on your table. Because our chick's got no feet. His feet. And then we've got our orange pieces of card. One, two. Now, these feet are going to come down here where feet go. So, it doesn't matter where you put them. But I'm going to put mine there and there. It doesn't matter if you switch them over and have them there and there. You could have them right up here. You could have them right down there. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our glue again our orange glue now and we're going to pop some at the bottom of our chick okay just at the bottom get your glue give it a big squidge you could put two lots on now because you've got two feet okay give it a good squid lots of glue and then decide where you want your feet could you yeah. turn the chick around and then do it that way? Confusing me. There we go. I've got one foot and I've got two feet. And as I push them down, 
my orange paint is still a bit wet. And just like with the hands, oh, it's moving a bit, Luke. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I've got two feet, two wings, two eyes and a beak. Can you see? You take your time, don't rush. And you'll get mucky fingers again, but it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter if you get more paint on your chick. That doesn't matter at all. Now we've got one last thing to do on our chick. He's got two feet. He's got two wings. He's got two eyes and a beak. And we want him to have just a little, a little bit of hair at the top. He'll look funny like that, won't he? So, I think we need the orange paint for this. So, your paintbrush has got glue on it. Doesn't matter. We're going to get the orange paint. We're going to stick our brush in there. And look, the glue's gone. A bit like magic, really. So, when you're ready, when your feet are done, when they're in position, you're going to get your brush with some orange paint. Not loads of paint. We don't want it like this, dripping. But, um, a little bit of paint. Okay? So get some paint on your brush and somewhere here at the top we're going to give him some hair and it doesn't have to be neat I think if it's just like that that looks even better so give him some hair and you can do just a little bit at the top or you could do all the top of his head but just at the top You see? That's how I've done mine. But you could do yours all the way down. You could do just a little, little bit at the top. Yours might have no hair. It might be a bald chick. It's up to you. If you wanted to paint anywhere else on your chick, you could. Because it's your chick. But... I'm happy with mine just like that. Would you like some blue tack to put it on the wall? I, I will go to leave it on the table for now. Yep. So, hold them up. Let me see. Let me see them chicks. Oh, amazing. Absolutely fine. Oh, that's funny hair on that one. Look at those wings and those feet. Have you guys had your mums and dads helping you loads? Because they are brilliant. And that is your chick done. What you need to do is leave it on your table or desk or wherever you're working till it dries because your grown up won't be very happy if it goes on the settee or the carpet. So we'll leave it on the table, okay? Because we've got something else to do now. Is everybody caught up? Is everybody happy for us to move on to our next, our next craft? Because I don't want to move too fast. I don't want to rush you children because your art is amazing, okay? Get them to drop a message when they're good to go and... Yeah, if grown-ups, if you want to um, just give us a thumbs up or something to say we're ready to go. I don't want to move too fast. I don't want these children rushing. But I think, what do you think of mine, Dwayne? I think that is absolutely stunning. Do you? I do. I think that deserves a place on, on the wall. Maybe even a place on the fridge is that good. That's right. All the best art goes on the fridge. All the best art gets stuck up in houses, doesn't it? Kitchen cupboards, fridges on the door. So, if you're ready, 
We're going to move on to the next one. I think we're all ready. Yeah. I think so. Natalie, Bala Rose, Karen Roper, Sandra Burgess, they're all ready. Wonderful. Have you got some paint still on your table? I have. So either get your tissue or your wet cloth and rub it off. Rub it off. Get it all nice and clean. And then give it a wipe. Okay. Are you all nice and clean? Are you ready to go? Are your hands clean? All nice and dry. So for this one, you need... Do you know what this is? Many of you know what this is. This is a toilet roll tube. So when you go to the toilet, all your toilet paper's around here. These are the things that you children just leave on, on the hook. And us mum and dads have to change them. Toilet roll tube. In your bag, you've got a piece of spotty paper. Now be careful when you take these out because you should have some small pieces in here. So grown-ups, if we've got any really young children doing this, just watch this bit because we have got two googly eyes. Can you tip your bag out like me? Get it all out. All empty. So what you've got is a piece of spotty, really thin paper. This is called tissue paper. You've got a pom-pom. Now we put all colours in these. So I've got yellow. You might have green or blue or pink. Was there any other colours? Blue, green, pink, yellow. Red, black. Red, I don't know if it was black. It was a black. I don't know if we get black out. But brown. whatever colour your pom-pom is, you've got one of them. Here are two googly eyes. A bit fiddly these are, but if you shake them, you can hear inside. And you should have one, two. Okay, put them to one side. You've also got, what do these look like? Look a bit like spoons, don't they? You've got two big spoons and two smaller spoons. Okay. And then you've got some black strips of card. And you should have six. If you haven't, don't worry. But six is about the amount you should have. If any of that's missing, just make sure it's not stuck to your tissue paper. Or still sat at the bottom of your, your plastic wallet. But this one is super easy and super quick. The first thing we need to do is get our toilet roll tube. Okay? Woo, can see you. Now our spotty paper has got two sides. It's got a shiny side with all the gold dots on and it's got another side where it's not shiny and you can't see the gold dots very much. What I want you to do is put that on your table with the shiny side facing down, okay? So what you can see on the top is the side that's not shiny, okay? That's what you need to see on the top. Because what we're going to do is put the toilet roll on and we're going to fold it around so you can see the shiny side, okay? So, is your tissue paper on your desk with the shiny side down? Get your toilet roll tube and you're going to put it at one end. It doesn't matter if it's at this end it doesn't matter if he's at this end. 
but you're going to put it at one end of your tissue paper and very carefully you're going to pick your tissue paper up and hold on to it can you see how i've done that i put my toilet roll tube down picked the tissue up and held on to it and then we're just going to roll it bit like a sausage and like a christmas cracker just keep rolling keep rolling and you can see the shiny side is, is on the outside now keep rolling oh mine's all rolled up it's yours now if you hold this in your hand like this it doesn't unroll because if you don't hold it in your hand up oh, it comes apart so roll it back up looks a bit like a christmas cracker it does look like a christmas cracker and hold it in your hand like that so it can't come apart i can still see you all though i can still see you all through it now you've got lots of tissue paper here and you've got lots of tissue paper here and what we want is the tissue paper to go inside so what you're going to do is you're going to get a finger or maybe two and you're going to push it in see how easy that is push it in push it all in keep pushing can you see it's all gone in really easy and once you've done one side turn it around and do the other side push it all in that looks really easy it's really easy that is and we've got no glue on this at the minute and all my 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 ends are all in the middle you see and now we've got a spotty toilet roll holder have you managed to tuck it all in it doesn't matter what's in there because no one sees that bit just push it all in with your fingers push it in i've got lots of tissue in mine not lots of paper but it doesn't matter okay so now you're left with that that's a bit boring isn't it does that look like a bunny to you it looks like a spotty toilet roll holder it looks like a spotty toilet roll holder yeah how do we make this look like a bunny then well let me tell you can you remember the spoons that we had two these are going to be your bunny's feet remember the smaller spoons that we had these are going to be your bunny's ears see how it looks a bit more like a bunny now okay but what we have to do first you know your spoons i want you to fold the end over can you see so you've got just a little bit folded over it doesn't matter if you've got a lot folded over actually so get your spoons your big spoons and fold them over and if you fold them over too much don't matter it'll still look just as good because what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue on that little fold and we are going to stick them to our toilet roll holder can you see how they will look like feet now if you're really really clever you could stick it on the inside of your toilet roll holder or you can stick it on the outside so what we're going to do is your brush still in your orange paint doesn't matter we're going to put it back in the glue okay give it a good mix get your brush into that glue give it a good good mix keep mixing there you go and the orange paint's nearly gone just keep mixing 
get your big spoon and you see that little flap what you've created now can you still see me while I'm here Dwayne Yeah. Look at my camera. I can. Yeah. So you you're gonna put glue on the outside of your flap or on the inside. Let me show you first. So the first one I'm going to put glue on the outside. Okay. Like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look into my tube and I'm going to pop it on the inside and bend my spoon up. And that means you can't see the front of, of the foot. So if, if you think you can do that, you can do it that way. Or we can do it another way. We can put the glue on the back of the foot. So pop, 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 pop. Doesn't matter how much glue you use. And you can glue it on the outside. Okay. So can you see? I made a mess with glue. Can you see, if you put glue on one side, you stick it on the outside of the tube. If you put glue on the other side, you stick it on the inside of the tube. It's up to you, it doesn't matter. Either way, he'll have his feet. So let's do it together, okay? Stutiana says the kids are having a blast. Ah. Especially with the one brush and three pots thing. Oh, with yes, yeah. switching between them. I was thinking, have I only give all the children one brush between them? <laughs> I, okay. don't really, I don't really share with you. I know. Okay, so where are you going to put your glue? On this side or on this side? It's up to you. I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to put it on. And for me, I'm going to stick it on the inside. Okay. So you poke it in, it's a bit fiddly, I hope you're all coping okay. Pop it in. I think it looks good whichever way you choose. It does, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all. And then for the next one, I'm going to put some glue on the fold. I'm going to look inside again. And you want the feet quite close together. So that you can see them both okay so always fall over poke it in fold your foot round a bit oh, it's sticking to my fingers is it all sticking to your fingers because mine is there we go i'm all sticky and there we've got two feet Two great big feet because rabbits have bunnies have really really big feet don't they that was quite tricky how did you get on are we okay yeah I'll just give you another few seconds but keep going at that while you keep going I'm just gonna get a drink go back to mmm I'm just going to speak to my son one second, children. Could you let the cat in, please? Back. Yes, please. So, as you can tell, you might be able to tell, last time we did Cookie Maniki, I was at the centre where the shop is. This time I'm at home. Um, so, there's lots of distractions. The washing machine's going, the cat's crying at the window, and my son's just walked in with some McDonald's chips. So... That's what happens when you work at home, but we thought it'd be nice to do it from home this time. How are we getting on? Have you got two feet? Doesn't matter if they're not level. Doesn't matter if one's bigger than the other. 
doesn't matter if you've got a bit of orange glue on them have you noticed it doesn't matter just do can you hear my cat crying my cat's crying at the door trying to get in he's being very noisy he's being very naughty so if you've got your two feet we're then going to work on the two ears a bit like spoons aren't they? a bit like a tennis racket aren't they very tennis all again <laughs> so what we're going to do for this very similar to the feet we're going to put some glue at the end on both of them and then we're going to stick it again this is up to you you can either stick it on the inside of your tube or the outside of your tube if it's too tricky sticking it on the inside stick it on the outside so get some paint a bit orangey paint isn't it and pop it on the end oh got it on my fingers again and then I'm going to pop mine on the inside of the tube. So poke it in and give it a squeeze. Can you see? And if it's sort of the same, at the same angle as your foot, you could do it that way. Cat's still not in. <laughs> um, but it doesn't have to be. You could have your ears on the side if you wanted. It'd look a bit funny if you had one on the front and one on the back, wouldn't it? It'd look really funny, that would. Well, this is your bunny. Do it however you want. So, I'm going to get my second ear with some paint, it was some glue, and pop some on the end. And we're going, I'm going to poke it on the inside again. I'm going to give it a squeeze. How does that look? That's it. It's looking a bit more like a bunny now, isn't it? Although I've never seen a spotty bunny, have you? Is there any spotty bunny on my pictures? No. But this is our bunny, so it doesn't matter. So don't worry if your ears are a little bit further apart. Don't worry if one's up and one's down. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is stick the eyes on. I've got my eye. And this is quite fiddly. What you need to do is put your eyes on your table so that the white dot is facing up because the paint, it, the paint, the glue is going on the white dot, okay? So, two eyes with the white dots up. We're going to get a bit of glue and we're going to stick it on and oh look, my eye has stuck to me glue. Doesn't matter, it always does that. Use your other finger and take it off and keep getting that glue on. Ooh, it's all sticking, it's sticking on the front and everything. Ugh. And yours will do the same. Doesn't matter. That's what happens when you have glue. It's sticky. Okay, if your eyes got all sticky like mine, then you're going to get one of your eyes and pop it on the front of your tube. And then you're going to get the other eye and pop it on the front of your tube, like that. All stuck, everything's sticking to me. Can you see? Two eyes. And I'm all sticky. And it doesn't matter if your eyes are up even down there, across this way, across this way, or we'll go together. It's your bunny, you can do what you want. Did we go on do not disturb? Yeah. You did. Just like watch vibrating. Like, oh. <laughs> okay, I've got all glue on the table again. 
What's my mum going to say? She's not going to say anything because it's only a bit of glue. Does yours look like this? Or a bit similar? Two feet, two ears, two eyes. And a spotty body. Okay. What I want you to get next is the black bits of card okay i've got one two three four five six if you've got six if you haven't don't worry you just just use what you've got so two or four or six is absolutely fine these are going to be oh, so hard to pick these up you're struggling as well these are going to be whiskers and they are going to go on his face underneath where his eyes are okay let me show you before you do yours your whiskers one side is black and one side is white now we're going to put some paint on the white side yeah and then we're going to stick it onto the front of our tube let me show you hold your whiskers get some paint and we're going to paint about half half of the white glue not paint don't don't glue it it's, it don't paint it it's glue we're going to glue half of the white side of the whisker okay and then you're going to look where his eyes are and you're going to pop it just underneath now this will get sticky but it doesn't matter okay then you'll get another one on the white side You'll get some glue, about half of it with glue. The same side, you'll stick another one. Can you see? And then number three, on the white side, about half of it with glue. And stick another one can you see how that looks like whiskers and then you'll do exactly the same on the other side so we'll do this together if you haven't already done it I bet you're quicker than me get your whisker on the white side a bit of glue yeah underneath your eyes not your eyes your bunny's eyes and stick it on it might be a bit slippy and it might fall down a bit but that's okay because we can always move them but it might look really cool like that okay another one on the white side get some glue Pop it on and stick it on the front. Now, some of you might be thinking, this looks a bit of a mess. It won't stay that way, promise you. So, so far, I've got one, two, three, four, five whiskers. And I've got one more here. On the white side, a bit of glue. Pop it on. It looks a bit like a mouse, doesn't it? Do you think it looks like a mouse? It's got a bit mousey. It's not a mouse, it's a bunny. How are you doing? Are you all sticky like me? Are your whiskers all funny shapes and sizes and going all different ways? That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six whiskers. 
I will give you a few seconds for that because it's a bit tricky, isn't it? And if you've all done it, you're superstars. Because once we've done that, once we've all finished doing that, <clears throat> all we've got left is our pom-pom. Where could that go? Where do you think that might go? On his foot? I think it goes on his foot. Mm, no, it looks no. Like a bit like a clown foot if you put it there. It does look like. What about on his ear? No, no. not good. On his bum? Maybe, but not the best place, is it? I can't see it there, can no. you? Where do you think our pom-pom might go? We've only got one. Where could it go? Well, I'm going to put mine just here. You see? I'm going to use mine as a nose. But you can put yours where you want. If you wanted it round the back as a tail, you could. If you wanted it on his foot, like he's kicking a ball, you could. You can do whatever. You, if you don't want to put it on at all, you don't have to. But I'm going to put mine right in the middle there, so it looks like a nose. But first, it won't get very sticky without some glue. Now, on the times we've been using glue, we haven't used much, have we? But we do need quite a lot for this to make it stick. So I want you to put a great big dollop on your pom-pom. And then I want you to put another dollop on top of that one. Steve, um, exactly. Yep. So that glue looks like cream egg. Yes, but we wouldn't eat that though, would we, no. Steve? Even though it might look like that, we won't eat it. Steve might, but I think Natalie's smart enough not to. Yes, I think <laughs> so. So can you see, every time we put a bit of glue on, it seems to be soaking up, which is why we're going to put some more on. So there's lots of glue on this one side of the pom-pom, because we want it to stick. Now, where are you putting yours? Is it going as a tail? Is it going on his foot? Are you not putting it on at all? I'm using mine as a nose. I'm going to push it on just like that. And what you'll need to do, wherever you're putting it, keep it squeezed for a few seconds, okay? So keep your finger on it and keep pushing. Keep pushing. Is yours on the bottom? Have you had it give me a tail? Or have you got a football? But just keep pushing because sometimes these pom poms fall off. But if we keep pushing for a few seconds, they're safe, they don't come off as, as much. But if your pom pom does fall off, don't worry, you've still got some glue left. And you can glue it back on. But mine looks like it's not going to fall off. But if you ask your grown-up to save the glue, you can always glue it back on again. How are we doing? Let me see. Let me see where we're at. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, I like that pink pom-pom, actually. That's a good one. Green, green looks well with the green, with the green bunny, doesn't it? Oh, and the blue one I can see. Those are amazing children, absolutely amazing. Let me see what we've done today. So, in, what time is it now? In about an hour, you guys have created a chick. He's pretty cute, isn't he? And a bunny. And he's pretty cute too. And it just goes to show how clever you children are. Now, do we all know what day it is tomorrow? 
tomorrow is Easter Sunday and Easter Sunday is very often a day where we spend with our families and we have nice food but this year you might not be able to go visit Nan and Grandad and you might not be able to do the things that we could do last year but I've been talking to the Easter Bunny he rang me he rang me last week actually and he said okay so maybe our children can't go to their nanny and granddad's some will but some can't so he said to me if the children make these activities a chick and a bunny he said he was going to leave you something i don't know what that is but he said if you did this and they were absolutely amazing like they are he said that he was going to leave you something tomorrow i don't know what it is but if you leave these things out tonight on your table or your desk or on the floor maybe the easter bunny will come with something tonight it is a mystery, I don't know. But, well done children. I am so proud of you. This was quite tricky. It was messy, it was sticky, it was a little bit fiddly. And you've all smashed it. You've all done fantastic. Well done children. Be very, very proud of yourselves. Because I'm proud of you. And I'm sure your grown-ups are proud of you. But... Could you send me some pictures? Could you get your grown-up to send me some pictures of what you've created? Because I'd love to see them. And I'm going to put a, a folder together of all your lovely creations. Because I'm really proud of you. And do this. Do this. Do you know what that is? You're giving yourselves a pat on the back. But for this time, children, that's it. We're done. One fantastic chick one beautiful bunny and all that's left for me to say is happy easter be really really good for your grown-ups make sure you go to sleep tonight because the easter bunny's around tonight and have a lovely lovely easter and i'll see you soon take care children bye grown-ups bye would you like to <laughs> see you soon there.